Hello everyone, welcome to today's card reading. Uh, we are doing a card reading for the Divine Feminine Twin Flame. So the Divine Feminine Twin Flame Consciousness. Um, this is also perfect for the Divine Masculine. As uh, you can see, like what your Divine Masculine is being called to heal and what she is healing right now. So the card deck we are using is uh, the Oracle card deck. Uh, the Divine Feminine by Megan Watterson. Uh, I'm fairly new to this deck, but... It is so, so powerful. Like Megan is truly passionate about the creation of this deck. Uh, it's very refined. Uh, she's done a lot of uh, research and it's very like life absorbed. Like it's, it's truly an extension of what she is passionate about. So yeah, let's get started. So the first card I pulled uh, is Joan of Arc, the Warrior of Light. I have still like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. So uh, Joan of Arc was truly profound, a profound like idol, a profound hero uh, in her time. She, uh, as a teenage woman or girl, actually led the France army to drive out uh, the English. And really, uh, her core values uh, conviction, uh, faith, uh, trust, and surrender. Um, she uh, communicated that uh, Archangel Michael had come to her and told her that her purpose was to drive out the English force. And what she did with that was she she took that message and she she ran with it and she never looked back. And you can see it just with her, um, like her facial expression, like nothing is stopping her. There is like no space in her mind for her to be stopped. Um, it, she has aligned with God's will and n nothing's getting in her way. So uh, one of the quotes she said was like, act and God will act. So basically what that's communicating is God's got you if you choose to pursue your vision uh and accept nothing less than that then god god's gonna god has got you god has given you that vision for a reason all of your visions are god given all of your true visions so how this is relevant to the twin flame journey is uh divine feminines you have a core desire to be in union with your divine masculine to be in union with your twin flame. That is your purpose. That is part of your life's purpose, uh, is to always be in union with your divine masculine and you already are at the core. But what this card is inviting you is to stop at nothing to achieve that. Stop at nothing to achieve the truth of who you are. Uh, follow your heart all the way through until union because union is true, union is real, union is possible with your twin flame. So yes, that's the first card. Choose it and so it is. So the second card we've pulled today is Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Mm. Wow. So, uh, Mary of Nazareth, as you probably know, is the mother of Jesus Christ. And what really like stands out to me uh, when like reading uh, the message of this oracle was like when uh, Archangel Gabriel came to tell Mary's, Mary of Nazareth that she would birth uh, Jesus Christ and she would be the mother of God, how she simply just surrendered to and accepted that uh, like as yeah her service she truly embodied her divinity there was no resistance to her service to the divine she didn't even under pretty much understand what that was is what like uh, or even if she did like it didn't get in the way or she didn't like let it um, like overcome her or anything and another thing that was said was that the 
uh, Mary, like through all of Jesus's life, she was with him. She was by his side the by his side the entire time. And we know, like uh, Jesus, you know, his uh, his purpose was uh, it was very full. Uh, it, it it he went through and uh, a lot. Uh, but Mary uh, truly embodied the mother figure, the mother of God, and she was just there by his side unconditionally and loved him and supported him. So uh, what I'm getting from this card is trust God's calling, trust God's guidance for you. God is always, and the divine God is always inviting you home to your divine masculine and it's, they, God knows the way home. And you're fully safe and supported. Your, your twin flame union is already yours. So you just have to simply surrender all of your resistance to receiving the divine. And you will be led into union with your divine masculine. And you can feel... Mother Mary, uh, Mother Mary's her div her divine mother. She loves so deeply and purely, and unconditionally, like she knows nothing else. Love your divine masculine in this way, divine feminines. Love God in this way. What would you expect in return if you were to do so? If this became your way of life. You would see, you would receive a hundred percent pure love in return. You would see the truth of divinity. You would see your union as life. Only love is real, and you will come to know that as you surrender completely and trust completely in God who loves you. Whatever God asks of you is for your highest purpose. You can trust in that. Mother Mary having mothered Jesus, that was for her highest purpose. God only asks service of you that is for you, that is to love you, that is to invite you deeper into your union. The third card we have today is Vajrayangini. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that correctly, but the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. So for this one, I actually want to read um, an excerpt of this, uh, of the uh, guidance book. It's really powerful. So no matter what has happened recently or in the past, Vajrayongini reminds us that we possess the fierce wisdom that transmute any pain or suffering into deep lessons that free us and bring us more joy. Choose the call to wake up if we've fallen into that old myth that something or someone outside of us is going to save us. Choose here to make it loud and clear that what is within us will save us. We can take this moment right here, right now, and turn everything sacred. So basically... Uh, <laughs> Vajrayangini only accepts the truth. Uh, no matter what you're going through in life, no matter like where your life is at, where your twin flame union's at, Vajrayangini, uh, I really apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, will uh, see the truth, chooses to see the truth for, uh, for empowerment. The truth is empowering. Uh, so uh, no matter where you are, uh, in your union, if it seems uh, to be in a poor place or not moving or, you know, not going right, there is a divine uh, truth at the core of whatever you're going through that is empowering, that is full of love and that will guide, that will uh, guide you forth and like and deeply encourage you forth. Uh, there's probably even better words for that. Uh, but call upon her. For what is that message in your union? What is the truth of what is currently happening? Uh, let her help you uh, see 
the truth of what's currently going on in your union because the truth is only love is real. Ego is not real. Nor is separation from your twin flame. And the other clear message that she communicated was uh, you're not a victim. Nothing that is going on right now in your union is beyond your control or can never be healed or, or changed. Union is yours. Union with your twin flame is yours. And by your uh, choice to see the truth and your choice to choose an alignment with love, uh, your union is already yours. So wow, this is a really powerful, such powerful cards here today. Man, divine feminine is powerful. See how see how powerful these like three women are. Like their divinity is not separate from your divinity. Their power is not separate from yours. You you behold the same power within because you are connected to the same God that created them. God created equally. We all possess divine power. We're all divine, uh, perfect divine feminines. So yeah, thank you. Uh, I, this was a cool reading. Uh, as I said, I'm new to working with this deck. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in later videos. Bye now.